Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to install Postgres and PG Enemy with Docker Compose. Actually, it is very simple. At first, make sure that you have installed the Docker. Then, create a folder and make a Docker Compose YML file and write the setting in it. Then, run the Docker Compose. I will show you also at the end how to log in the PG admin. Let's just start. Make a folder called Vietnami Postgres PG admin. Then make a file called docker compose .yaml yml and open the empty file let's copy the um, content in it which I have already prepared you can download this file under the video description. Now let's take a look at the uh, YAML file. So um, under the service, it is a Bitnami Postgres. It's the name of the service. For a database, you can do whatever you like. And after that, it is image Bitnami Postgres latest. You can, you should not change it. The so next is the ports. The ports left side is your own um, port on your computer. The right side is a port on the container. Um, restart, you can set it as always. Then don't forget to set the environment variable, um, Postgres password. You can write it to whatever you like. And then next is networks. It belongs to the app tier network. The next one is uh, volumes. Volumes means where you store the data on your computer. It is not necessary, but I encourage you to do it. Before the column is the path on your own computer, I set it as a um, volume under the current path. The next one is uh, the right side of the column is um, the path on the container. You should not change it. Let's see the next PG admin for uh, it's the same as a Postgres database. Um, but don't forget here is a depends on um, Bitnami Postgres. Don't forget here. And also, you should you can change the um, default email and the password for the PG admin for. The next step is create a networks and give it a name app tier. The driver is bridge. So um, the PG admin and the Postgres database can communicate each with each other easily. Um, this is all about the YAML file. Now we can run the Docker Compose file. But at first, let's make sure the Docker app is started. On the top right corner, there is a Docker symbol. And if it is um, stable, then, you will, then it means you can run the uh, Docker Compose command. Let's open the terminal in this folder and run the docker compose up minus d command. This command will start the, um, the two services, Postgres and the PG admin. After that, you open the dashboard of the docker and you will see the two um, service are started. 
there is no error here. We will see here the Docker has created a volume folder for us. It is for the Postgres dataset. Now we can log into the PG admin for. Um, let me um, put the YAML file and the browser side by side together so we can see, um, review our um, settings. Go to the localhost 8080 and give the um, PG admin uh, email, connygygmail.com, and the password 123456. It's here. We right here. Yeah. Now login. Fine. Cool. Then um, let's uh, create a server. Give a name, what you like. For example, Postgres um, Bitnami or uh, Postgres Docker. Um, in the connection, you can. Um, what shall we write? We should not write the local host, but the Bitnami Postgres under the service in YAML file because we already set it in the app tier network. And the username, keep in mind, it is Postgres. Um, password here is 6. Five four three two one. Then save. Wait several seconds. Then we will see the Connie DB is created. Thanks very much for watching. This is all um, today's video.